Well, already in the midst of a humanitarian crisis, refugees in the Gaza Strip are now gearing up for a major Israeli operation. Israeli leaders say that Rafah, currently home to at least half of Gaza's population, according to some estimates, I mean, you're talking about, about 1.4 million people, that that will be the next target in its war against Hamas. Robert Sherman is live in Tel Aviv with the latest. Robert, what are Israel's uh, allies saying about the planned incursion here? Well, I mean, you've heard from the U.S., the U.K., Australia, and some of Israel's other allies trying to urge Israel to reconsider or rethink this operation in Rafah, considering the humanitarian situation there. On the ground, people are bracing for the next phase of what is to come, as the message that's coming from the top in Jerusalem is, is that the Israelis intend to carry out a full-scale operation there in the coming days. They view Rafah, the city that is along Israel, uh, excuse me, Gaza's border with Egypt, as Hamas's last major stronghold that still needs to be toppled. But it's also home to about 1.4 million people right now. Many of them refugees. Some have been displaced multiple times, fleeing from all corners of the Gaza Strip as they hope to find safety. We were in Khan Yunus and they told us to go to Rafah. Rafah is safe. It was a tough night in Rafah and we're going back to Khan Yunus. We're tired of going from one place to another. May God grant us relief. And new this morning, you have more than 100 hostages still being held inside of the Gaza Strip. Some of their families are on the way to The Hague in the Netherlands to file a formal complaint against Hamas in hopes of bringing their loved ones home. We want to see them take out warrants and make sure that the leaders of Hamas are taken into custody or that they cannot leave Qatar anymore and that this puts pressure on them to release the hostages. And something that I want you to take a look at, this is a video that everybody is talking about in Israel right now. You're watching Yahya Sinwar, the head of Hamas in Gaza, caught on camera on October 10th, fleeing his home in Han Yunus through a tunnel underneath the city there. This is the first time that he has been seen since he went into hiding before that October 7th attack. Yahya Sinwar is listed as a global terrorist by the U.S. State Department. The Israelis say it is a top priority to track him down. They also say that there's new video, new information that they have about him after that video was taken. They're not sharing that publicly, but they do insist that this is one of their main missions is bringing him to justice. Marky. Yeah, it's eerie to see him winding his way through what's known as, as Lower Gaza there. Robert Sherman, thanks for that video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.